Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're going to look at the Apple chart. I've been just getting slapped around from people on StockTwits telling me that I don't know how to trade, I don't know technicals, my analysis sucks, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Sometimes on Wall Street, the truth hurts. We always talk about in our videos, money management. Do not, do not load the house in one position and think Apple's going to go up because everybody says so. That's just, you know what, just donate your money to the markets, or actually no, donate your money to like make a wish and make some kid's wish come true. Don't give it to the markets. Again, intraday, I posted some stuff in here. Let's see what happens when it gets to the 20 MA, you have double top, you're gonna have some resistance. So let's see if we can plug through it, confirm, and then possibly move up. You know what, we shorted Apple here, right at gap fill. Boom, it came in, we pulled off 41 cents, in and out, and we're done comes back into support because this was the high of the day support at the 20 ma wow what time is it 12 o'clock lunch time on wall street boom floating up we get above the 50 ma now we confirm with these guys you know we hear about the death cross and the cross and the ma's you know what that helps it now we're above the ma's we're consolidating sideways in a little bit of a bullish manner little inside bar as well but again we have the 618 here fib retrace big area so if it wants to get above the 200 MA, this thing's going to have to go sideways a little bit longer and then pop through. Gets above the 200, we're looking for confirmation, then we're probably going to be heading for 118.20. I don't know if it's going to happen today. Have to keep an eye on the markets. If the SPY starts to sell, Apple will go down. If the SPY catches a bid, which it looks like it is, then, then Apple could possibly go up. I'm just showing you my opinion, guys. Let's look at the 60 minute again. Right around 116 or so, you're going to have huge resistance. So what I'm looking for tomorrow, they'll gap it above the resistance and keep this thing going. You still have the window. You still have gap fill up in here around the 120. Daily chart. Still bearish. Below the MAs in a weak position. Today was a pretty good bounce, but you know what? Let me look at something right here. I'm going to show you guys. You know, for all you guys think I don't know how to trade, blah, blah, blah. And I know I'm pretty crass sometimes. But you know what? I don't sugarcoat anything. Why, why am I going to tell you, oh, Apple's going to go up, blah, 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 and then it goes down, and then you guys disappear? I, it, either way, here it is. I, I'm showing my stuff, and if you like it, great. If you don't, great. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people down here in Apple, and they loaded the boat up here, and they're getting their head handed to them. Don't ever go all in on a position. Just don't. So again, technically, we're down sideways, bearish. We get back up into the 116 area, we got to get above that. Honestly, we got to get above the 120 area. 120 and then this 119, that's a big area, but that's going to be more resistance going up into this. So right now they're just chopping and slopping and getting everybody all worked up. For me, I'm not even in this trade, don't care. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for the 98 level. And the reason why I'm waiting for 98, because you have a huge scene of the crime, boom, came back, retraced into this area chopped around for weeks and then finally popped through where do you think you're going to have huge support right around 98 or so i would love for 95 37 gap fill let's go to the weekly weekly those even uglier we stay up in here the week the weekly 200 is going to curl you're below the ma's on a weekly basis not good bearish stance but again this is a buy the dip market so it could go up but technically it's in a weak position on the weekly chart we're hoping it gets up above the 50 MA and captures it. Because again, if it goes up here, I'm going to be shortened right around 132. That's where I'm going for it. Because at that point, we think the markets are going to turn and go down. The IWM, the SPY, the Qs go down. It's all going down, I promise you. Let's look at the monthly just to see. And the monthly, well, you actually you have right around 105, you have some support from the 20 MA. So 105, if it cracks that, it's going to this level. Again, that's the 98 level right in this area. If it keeps going, you're looking at 85, 86. You even have the 50 MA there. Let's go a step further. Let's cross that, cross that. You're going to have a good area too, right around 79, 80 bucks. But you know what? We're, until it sets up and starts looking like it could possibly go down, I can't say that. I'm just looking for areas. And you know what? If it goes up, we'll be looking to short. I don't care. Short or long, we don't care. We're just looking at the charts and trying to figure out where these things are going, period. So again, Good position in Apple today. They're getting it up, but again, still weak. Below the MAs, bearish pattern. We're, hold on, where'd my fib go? My fib's right here. 
you know, 618 at 116, usually they come back. Okay, here, let me show you this. Um, again, you know what? Let me clear it everything. Let's look at this. You know, again, we retrace. Let's see where we retraced into. Maybe the 50 or the 382. Let's see. 50 retrace right there. And then you had this pivot as well. So you have more resistance there. Why are you going long? Because you're listening to everybody going, oh, here goes Apple, blah, blah, blah. It's great. You know what? It got above that level. Big area right there. But it never closed above. And then we have all these curling down. Man, this is going to, they're going to bring this thing up right into here, I think, 121. I don't know if we'll take it. I would love right here, 130. But that's, we, we got to get above the MAs and then continue to go. Again, here at StockBookie, we look at technical analysis. We don't care. Let's go back to the 10. This is all intraday. Let's see. Okay, we're going sideways here still. Let's see if we pop up. We still got a big area right at this 115. That's a 618 going from this high to this low. That's technical. But at the same aspect, let's go to the 60. Let's see where we're at. All right, we got a little bit of a tail. We're starting to go up. Let's see if this 116 area is going to be big, guys. So we get above there. Hey, God bless you. Again, I have no position in here. I just love reading the charts. And I'm not going to tell people, oh, yeah, I think this can go up. I'm going to say, hey, guys, bearish stance, down sideways, more bearish. If it gets above the MAs, then a little bit bullish. But right now, bearish, weekly, below the MAs. But we're still above the 200, a little bit more on the neutral side. We're kind of waiting at the end. Of, if we, Let me tell you one thing. If we close below this low at the end of the week, look out. And that's my opinion again, looking at the charts. If we get above the 50 MA on the weekly at the end of the week, then we could possibly move up a little bit. We'll see. Again, no position, just looking at the charts, trying to share my ideas with people on stock twits, and hopefully I can make them some money. And if you don't like me, then don't follow me. Again, John at StockBookie.com. We look at the charts. We follow technical analysis, and that's it. And uh, that's all we try to do here. And, again, I don't sugarcoat anything. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. God bless. See you on the charts.